Hello everybody and in this video I'm going to be looking at how to enable the F5 drive hold function on the new Acura scale Deltic model. For some reason, perhaps some oversight on Acura scale's part, this function will not work straight out of the box. So if you wish to use the drive hold you will need to make 9 CV program changes. In order to do that, I'm driving my Deltic onto platform 6 here at Melchester, which also doubles as my isolated program track. If you don't have an isolated program track, you can still program using the main line, as long as you don't have any other locomotives set to the same address. First of all, I'm going to isolate platform 6 from the main line to program track function and then select program track on the gauge master controller and scroll through the menu until I reach the CV settings. And the first setting I need to change is CV 31 and enter a value of 1. Next is CV32 and again enter a value of 1. The next one is CV267 and I enter a value of 32. CV268 and a value of 2. CV31 and a value of 16. Next up is CV32 and a value of 8. CV372 and a value of 1 to 8. CV373 and a value of 64. And finally, CV374 and a value of 0. And those are all the changes that you'll need to make to the CV settings. I can now switch platform 6 back to main line and start up the locomotive again by pressing function 1. So I'll now demonstrate the drive hold function whilst in this stationary position by selecting function 5 and then accelerating in the normal way without the locomotive moving. So you're hearing the sound the locomotive would make as it accelerates.
Well, that's the drive hold function now working as it should. And if you have the sound fitted version of this model, it's well worth doing. And as you can see, if you follow the program changes in the exact order that I've done it here, um, we'll be able to enable this function to work. I hope you've found this video helpful and until next time, bye for now.